Whoop whoop fam, much clown love. Hello everyone out there, YouTubers. It's me, the Juggle on the Go, Hunter Valentine. And today, I'm gonna go fishing. And we'll, but first, I'm in my van. We got some apple cinnamon air freshener to make it small, small, small more, more festive. There we go. Yeah, apple cinnamon, mmm. <sighs> so all the ladies out there, all the juggalettes, all the fam, whoop whoop, what's good? All right, we're gonna go ahead and head out. I gotta hit Stater Brothers first. We did the simple makeup today. So I'm gonna hit Stater Brothers. I'm gonna pick up some cheese to put on my fishing hooks so I can fish. The city park, you can fish. There's no license required. So, and it's trout season, so I know somewhere in there. So, let's see what we can catch. Yeah, it's amazing, juggalos that do fish. Now, people wonder, yes, okay, I'm a juggalo. My lifestyle is I like to wear my makeup all the time. I am a true juggalo. And I'm gonna have to go down to the police department, too. I gotta go down there and tell, ask them, hey, have you found my wallet? And I know they're gonna ask you, what are you? Uh, I'm a juggalo. Put your hands against the wall. We know this is gonna happen. But as soon as they mark me down as a gang member, guess what I'm doing? Lawsuit for profiling. I'm 49 years old. I have a good record. I am a security guard. A security guard. I just have bad credit. So if they put me in their little booklet or machine as a gang member, guess what I'm doing? That's right, I'm suing them. The money I get from that, I'm gonna put into an account to help other people out who have the same problem. So here we go, we're heading up for State Brothers. I got a green light here. Let's say I could make it by running it, but I only have a copy of my driver's license. Whoa, forgot the Velcro strip. This thing's all over the place, so am I. Wow, okay, turn signal. Apparently I gotta do it this way, I forgot the uh, Velcro strip. Now everyone knows this Juggalo is a Scrubbalo at this time because of what? Yes, disability that I am on. And so, I do have money coming in to support myself, take care of a few things. But the food stamps, that's funny as heck. Okay, you guys gotta hear this. Um, I'm getting food stamps. All right, you know how much? Six dollars a month. That's enough to cover my FACO, my Shasta soda. So these people are really out there. Oh yeah. Okay. Pimpolo Scrubbolo, hey, what can I say? Let's go in. Whoop whoop fam. Hey, I just came out of the store. Now, I found it interesting. A small child, I'd say about five, he looked at me, he goes, why do you do your face like that? And it was a simple question, I'd answer with no problem. I was like, oh, leave him alone. I said, no, it's okay. I said, I like a certain group, band, you know, music. They paint their faces and I paint my face. Oh, okay. And the kid goes, mommy, I like that. And she goes, no, you don't. So, you know, the hate is still out there. I just find it very amusing, you know, oh no, you don't. Knows nothing about the music or anything, but you can see it in her face and yelled at her kid on top of her lungs, no, you don't. So I found it very amusing. Then, the lady, an older lady, cracks me up. She goes ahead and she goes, that's stupid paint in your face. And I looked at her and I said, it's stupid shaving your eyebrows and then painting them in. What's the point? She got mad, she walked away. Of course, the manager was laughing his butt off. But, you know, 
couldn't show that on cam. That's still funny though. It, but what's the point of shaving your eyebrows and painting them in? I have no idea. I'm just representing something I like and I believe in. The, the fun part. Whoa, here we go again. Whoa. <laughs> the fun part is going to be when I go down for my um, look for my wallet at the police station with this makeup on. Because I'd love for them to profile me. Put it in the computer. I will pay the 50 bucks just to see if they put me in the computer. If they have, then I will sue them for profiling. Because it is against the law to profile people. Just because one group does something wrong does not mean the world is. Like the Federal Bureau of Incompetence says. Okay? I have a couple of friends in the FBI. They don't look at me as a gang member. Whatsoever. So if they can see that I'm not, why can't everyone else see I'm not? I was always, how come the people that don't have much money are crazy and stupid, but the people who have money are eccentric? Why can't I be eccentric? If I pay my bills and do what I have to obey the laws, why can't I be eccentric and paint my face and like a certain type of music? Does anyone know? Or is the world crazy? If you notice, I painted my face a little different today. I wanted it to be a little different. I was in a little bit of an angry mood. Wasn't out of makeup. Um, I might not go into the police department. I just might find a cop, pull over, and talk to him. This way here, I don't have to deal with it. If they get mad, oh, it's a gang member, tackle him. So we'll find out. If I'm lucky, you'll be walking through the park and someone will come up to me because there is no smoking in the parks, outside in the parks in California. It's outside you're smoking. What is this supposed to do? Stop the crackheads from smoking? They're still going to hold it in their hands. Crack doesn't put off that much of a smoke like a cigarette. So I have no idea. So, oh, I bought some... Um, Hostess cupcakes, strawberry with strawberry frosting, but it has vanilla inside. So, I know I'm diabetic, I shouldn't be, but I figured I'd have some at the park while I'm fishing. Now, there is a cop car, he might pull me over because of my makeup, we'll find out. I'll be right back, Okay, guys. that's how it should be. Cop pulled up beside me, looked at me, cocked his head, I waved, he waved, and he left. I wasn't doing anything wrong hurting anybody. I'm not hanging around schools. I'm going fishing at a park that you don't need a fishing license for. Of course, he could have ticketed me for not having my license. But like I said, someone will come walking through the park and, um, you know, I'll ask them. I'll say, hey, uh, has anyone turned in blah, blah, blah? And they'll tell me I have to go down and check it out. Well, since I wear my makeup out almost every day, doesn't mean I'm going to take it off to go to the police station. I'm sorry. I've gone into banks with my makeup on. So, we're going to cut it short here, and uh, I'll reconnect it a little bit. So, like, uh, uh-huh. No, I just saw some, some woman look real nice. Wanted to ask her, hey, you ever have any clown love? <laughs> oh, flashing red light. Okay, guys, bye-bye. Well, I'm holding the camera down like this because the sun's behind me and I don't want to blind you guys. But, uh, take a look here. Here we go. There's the park. Plenty of ducks and geese. And, uh, got something for me I wanted to munch on. There it is. Hostess cupcakes. Yeah. Hostess cupcakes. Yeah, we're all set on that one. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this. I'm going to have something to eat. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, maybe I can lean back and do this. We'll find out. Let's see. Okay, hostess cupcakes. Yeah, pull the thing here. Let's see, come on. Naturally 
and artificially flavored. Huh. So, at least that's what it says. So we're all good on that. Yeah. You guys can see me, right? Oh, good. Like that. Like, whoa. I gotta reset this. Wow, wow. you guys saw what happened when it dropped, right? Clumsy juggalo. <laughs> we'll try this once more, but we'll put it in the zipper here. Right down there. Alrighty. Open this. Yeah. Smells like strawberry. Strawberry taste. Here we go, cream filling. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's good. Hmm. Not bad at all. Well, I went ahead. You guys didn't see it. I was casting my pole out and stuff. This little pocket fisherman. And every time I tossed it out, ducks went after it. Then I moved to another spot, threw it out, was doing good, until this little kid walked over with his bread, started throwing bread all over. Mom's going, isn't that cute? I said, ma'am, why couldn't you have done it over there? Her thing is, oh, we're fishing over there. I said, ma'am, I'm fishing over here. You know what she said? I don't care. I said, you know, you're right. I'm going to go ahead and shove bread all over your son and some on you, and then I'm going to let the ducks come up. That's just mean. I said, ma'am, you just... Through, put your kid over here to put bread here while I'm fishing. That's mean. Tell me who's being mean. Then she goes in, will you paint your face? Wasn't I lucky though? Here's another one. A Hispanic lady was there with her kid. Her boyfriend's black. I got no problem with it. Like I said, I have no problem. Everyone to me, I have no anger with it unless they start with me. Okay, she really started verbally with me, so I looked at her and said, Look, I paint my face because I follow a band. You paint your face like a clown for what reason? She got mad. Boyfriend came over. Told him exactly what happened. Look, he said, Bitch, you got what you deserved. See, he told her to go the other direction. He saw me fishing over here. So it just goes to show people out there are all just want to attack people. Verbally or physically. So we're going to have to give up fishing over here. These ducks aren't going to let me. When I get my fishing license, I'm going to have to go to one of these other lakes and uh, just go fishing there. So until then, I'll give you a little shot of the lake again and go from there. There we go. Let's see if we can zoom in some on them. I don't know if they will let me. There, but uh, you can see the ducks over there, over there, and over there flying, and they're all over the place. So until I get home, it's going to be a real short log today, people. A real short one. Let me zoom out. Until then, whoop, whoop. Until we finish this thing up, and we're gone. All right, peace. All right, we're heading back. Can't do any fishing because dumb ducks. There's the mighty death pop. I call it that because guess what? Solid steel, 350 Hemi motor. If someone hits me, it's their death and they go pop. Yeah, I said that and yeah, that's what I said. The mighty death pop. That's what I named her. So we're going to be heading home. I'll record a little bit here and tonight we're going to do a, um, a G Plus Google Hangout. 
So if you want to come on board, click the link on my profile page, sign up for your G Plus account, and then join the link that I will put into my account when you go there. All right, see you when I get home, people. Hey guys, we're gonna cord from here while driving. I know it's a different angle, but we're going. And here we go. All right, now my shoulder's in the way. I didn't bring the Velcro, I can't hook it up. We could try it this way, see if it works. Can you guys see me? I hope so. There. That was Duckalo Island, not Juggalo Island. Well, people going by I kept asking me if I'm a Raider fan, if the Raiders are playing, and I told them no. No Raiders. And uh, one guy asked me if um actually a group of I'd say black males, young teens, they looked at me. So we've seen you out here before a couple of times. I said, yeah. Always with your face painted, yeah. He said, the FBI, is there, are you a juggalo? Yeah, well, so you're a gang? Yeah. So you're coming in on our territory? I said, no. He said, I'm living my life like you are. I'm being myself and living my life. I said, otherwise, do you see any tags of mine out here or anything? They said, well, no. I said, well, what am I doing? I have a fishing rod. Well, you're fishing. I said, just because the Federal Bureau of Incompetency says something, is it true? No. I said, there you go. So, yeah, this will be my thing here. It's ridiculous. So one of them actually sat down and the other ones took off and asked me what psychopathic music was and I let him listen. He liked it. He said, it makes me feel like I'm getting all your anger out. He goes, yeah. I said, it's just like a rap music, but a different form. I said, you don't have to paint your face like the people. They all have their makeup on and they sing. But we consider everyone family, you know, fam. And then he goes, wow. So, he's going to come by oh, Tuesday to the park. I'll meet him over there and... I'm going to download a bunch of music on a disc. Yes, I am. And uh, I'll let him listen to it. Um, Give him a couple of websites. My website on YouTube. He even asked me, he said, didn't you go down to the bank? I said, with my makeup on? He goes, yeah, they let you in. I said, well, they got used to me after a while. So now I'll be opening up a bank account with U.S. Bank because... I don't want to get into it, but someone messed up my other account. So when we go ahead and talk and have a good time, you know, and if he wants, I'll show him how to paint his face. I told him to go to my profile page. I said, I got all kinds. I even horse around. I get bored. I did Papa Smurf. I said, I did uh, a pirate. Arr, not a butt pirate. No homo. And uh, so he seemed down with it. So we'll find out. We'll see if somebody is down with the clown. Or the gang, or the gang unit will say, he brought someone else in from the outside. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, so no. But uh, yeah, one of these times I need to go into the American Legion or the Moose Lodge or the Eagles Lodge or the Elks Lodge because believe it or not, I'm a member. I'm behind on my dues, but I'm a member. And knowing them, they'll wave the past dues, and um, I'll come in, and I'll start showing up my makeup, and they'll go, what? What do we get ourselves into? Like I said, I have a life away from psychopathic records and my homies and ninjas, because the, most of the ones that I had were in Las Vegas. Of course, they never knew, you know, I was a juggalo, because... If my company I worked for, which is a guard company, knew it, you know, I would have been fired or they would have, you know what I mean. But common sense tells you if I'm hanging around with juggalos and such, you know, I'm a sideshow or what? Secret? Secret agent? Juggalo! Secret agent? 
juggalo they've given you your face paint and taken away your name just waving to people oh by the way cat piss i wasn't mad at you or anything the video i had up i was on morphine and a bunch of other stuff i was really messed up and i mean really and um basically some people had basically put some derogatory stuff in private messages. And I went ahead and I mentioned who they were. You know, they said, if someone pissed you off, tell us who's doing it. So I did. But I went back to look at their accounts. The accounts don't exist. They're not there. So how is someone leaving messages on my account for an account that's not there? Is there a new software or something I should know about? By the way, I enjoy your videos. Um, Mr. Vlogging Life, Adam Skaven. Um, I really want to get onto Minecraft and play. Tyler, you hear that? I want to get on there. You know, I might take you guys out there. You know, I don't have the money. I might gloss out my sign again, my face painted up. It's going to say, want to play Minecraft online. Cost $26. I have a dollar. Could you please help me? You never know. That's an original thing. Not the panhandling, but trying to get money from Minecraft. But, uh, yeah, I like to be chaotic on Minecraft. Uh, I, I'm always digging. They're going, why are you always digging? Well, digging comes in handy, believe me or not. Someone chases you like a creeper or something on the game. You just fill it in behind you real quick. You jump over the one and you fill it in behind you. He can't get through. And then usually I plug up the other side and I leave him there. This way here, if I need him, I'll just tunnel and tunnel the creeper to go the direction that I need. Same thing with a spider who jumps. I just have to make sure the walls are higher. Let's see. Um, yeah, one of these times I'll take you into my place where I get one of my medical marijuana. I think they'll let me come in with the camera. We'll find out. I hope they do. It would be fun. And uh, you can see all the flavors of medical marijuana out there that they have themselves. So we're going to work on that. Um, shout out to West Waz Clan, 1964. Yes, believe it or not, I am older than him. Remember that. Respect your elders. Uh, besides Tyler, let's see. Uh, let's see, Aunt Andre, the uh, furry, who comes in there, Robert Albert, Sideshow Bob, you know, G+, Plus, you gotta use your name, otherwise we're not gonna allow it. So you can add tags to it and such. So let's see what we got here. Hey, it's a school. Should I hang out with my van and my makeup on? You know the cops would come over in an instant. What are you doing here? I'm recruiting for Juggalos. That's it. So who here likes to paint their face? Okay, we're not counting the Hispanic girls that paint their face with their eyebrows and stuff. I'm not being racist. If you're in California, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, look, there is an emergency vehicle heading my way. It's way down there. But it is coming this way. Now if this blue car goes, I can get over. Can you guys hear it? I can hear it. It's coming. It's coming. Here it comes. And there they go. And I didn't cause it. You know why? By the way, Juggalos RS, whoop, whoop, shout out to you. Uh, you know why? ICP made me do it. Like the song says. But, uh, you know, I enjoy myself. I paint my face. I have good days and bad days, just like everybody else. And I think it's unfair for us to be put in a group. That's enough of the rant for now, okay? But uh, I'll be home. 
do a little more chat for my vlog, so I want to upload it tonight and go from there. Let me see. Anyone else? Do I need to get a shout out too? Let me think. Nappy J, a shout out. Whoop whoop. Check him out. Got some good videos, especially if you're a juggalo. If not, uh, for those that are interested in juggalo life, uh, check his channel out. He has a couple, but he has a very good channel. Um, also, you can check out um, Juggalo Fred. Very interesting individual. Now, I haven't seen him with his face painted live or anything, but I'd love to see it. One of these times, we need to do a Google Hangout where we all paint our face and basically are on cam. It'd be great to record. It would be a great Google Plus Hangout. So, uh, we can definitely do that. Uh, let me see anyone else. Um, now, I've noticed a couple things. I was told by a few people, and it's making me very mad, and I'm going to pull this up. And I'm going to pull a Copper Cab. Okay, Copper Cab is a bit, you know, he's an actor, but he overdoes it. Well, I'm not going to overact on this. A couple of female friends of mine that are juggalos and juggalettes. Okay, they're juggalettes. Anyway, um, they were wearing their makeup and stuff, and they were stopped by the cops one day. They said, you know, if we mark this on your record, you will never get hired. And they said, what do you mean, mark it on record? That you're a juggalette. You belong to ICP. You are a gang member, and we'll put it in our thing, and you won't get hired. The cops are blackmailing kids now not to wear their makeup or do anything. Oh, we don't want to mark you as a gang member. Okay, first of all, you should be marking them as a gang member. If they're in society doing what they want, you have no fucking right to sit there and tell them, don't do it or I'll put a mark against you. That is totally fucking wrong. Now, that's what I've got to say about that. I'm almost home, and I should be looking at the damn street. So leave the kids alone. Do you understand that? Kids, adults, leave the juggalos and juggalettes alone. If we haven't done anything, leave us the fuck alone. Damn. Ooh, I'm almost ooh, home. Fam, much clown love. It's time for my puppy dog's treat. Now remember, I got a hostess strawberry cupcake, strawberry frosting, and it's right here. You guys saw it? Now it's her treat time and she wants it. Can you hear that tail thumping? I know you can see my belly, but you're not supposed to. Now, there she is. Sorry, kitty. Is that what you want? Uh, easy. That's what, uh, you stay right here. Go ahead. Wait, she wants to take it away with her. She takes it. She jumps onto her couch over there. And it's gone. But yes, I told you. She gets her treats like I do. She's been behaving. She's been a very good kitty cat for a puppy dog. <laughs> All right, people. Um, I'm going to try to look in some chit chats here, and then tonight we'll finish it off. I do have me a Diet Shasta soda, and I'm drinking that with some Bacardi 151. Mm. So we'll get back at you a little later, and uh, take care of all.